It's like 248 comments. This is nuts. All right. So first off, I'll have to say thank you to everyone who's been watching the review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been uh, amazing to see so much of a response and so many people uh, just commenting and viewing it. It's been really, really fun. Uh, thank you, guys. I, I really do appreciate all the comments, all the views. Even if you guys disagree with me, it's still crazy. Excuse me. I haven't had that much of a spike ever, really. So it's really cool to see it. So, excuse me. As before, I don't know what's going on. I think I ate too many of my pancakes. As I said, I would read your guys' comments, and this one's going to take me a while. I'm not going to try and rush through it because I've got this is my weekend. So we'll let's try and go through this one. But it's if it's not an hour long, I'm going to be very, very surprised. But uh, I'm going to be eating a little bit. I got some of my breakfast and I got my coffee here because I know this is going to take forever. So here we go. You know what's funny? Dean's death was because his father failed to resolve something he documented knew about. Over a decade later, and they're still cleaning up John's messes. Yeah, that is a good point, though, actually. That is a good kind of a retrospective, but it's more so they're cleaning up Dab's messes at this point. I was really hoping they would face off against the MT, whatever, Supernatural ended at Swan Song. Which is what a lot of us say, but again, yeah, that was something that I was really suspecting. I was expecting the MT to be more but I think they couldn't afford to do it. I think Marge Simpson put it best. It's an ending. That's enough. And you know what? I actually don't disagree with that comment at all. At least it happened. Like, it could have been dragged out even more. Like, what on earth could they have done after this season? I felt like Dean's uh, death needed to be ordinary against all the extraordinary feats Sam and Dean have accomplished. It was clear to me that Dean would die doing what he was doing best of an ordinary hunt going wrong. Sam's epilogue of growing old of his son may look like he has a normal life, but you see the anti-possession charm on his son's arm. To me, that shows that Sam balanced his normal life with the hunting the way uh, John Winchester wishes he could have. It was a perfect way for his son to let him know that everything was going to be okay because his son will, will now carry the torch and always keep fighting. Andrew Dabb talks about how they didn't get to have a lot of extras for a big fight, and that may have been the vampire showdown we saw as a replacement. It was likely Dean would have been overwhelmed by how many there were there. One reason I really love Dean and how Dean died is because Sam and Dean are finally at peace with dying, mainly because there isn't a global catastrophe, and mainly because they get to be independent and not tied to Chuck's narrative. I love seeing the original Bobby and knowing Jack and Cass had made uh, uh, heaven more paradis paradise to look at. The one thing that threw me off with this whole episode was the recap because it wasn't a traditional fa fa season finale recap. It only covered last week's episode. However, the epilogue made up for it. At first, I thought, why vampires? It was a cool callback to season one's vampires that ran off of the cult. Then I remembered how Sam and Dean would meet their demise if Jack went, didn't turn, return from death and they trapped Chuck. Sam and Dean became vampires and monsters brought chaos to all the world. But because of Sam and Dean, Cass and Jack, the world is flawed and beautiful as it can be when they fought the vampires. They remained human and Dean accepted his death like a true hunter. Overall, I love the ending and will stick by that opinion no matter what. Honestly, that's actually, there's some good insight into that. This is some of the things that I saw as well. There are some issues, obviously, with this episode, but there, you know, there are some shining parts to it, too. The one thing, though, that I kind of wondered, I, I thought it would have been demons, considering demons are the ones that have the real core connection with the show. Like, those have been the adversal villains, at least they were at the beginning, that I always recognize the show for. So I thought it, it would have been better with demons, but, yeah. On a macro level, it's probably the best I could have hoped for, given the circumstances of filming and how the rest of the season was handled. I was expecting less. In terms of specifics, I think the episode is deeply flawed. There probably should have been a transition between Sam grieving and having a child. If not with Aileen, then maybe Jody. Something to parallel the scene with Bobby and Dean. The logistics of Sam and Eileen owning a house and living a normal life, even though they're both legally dead, and one of them is still the most wanted uh, on the most wanted list, is a little strange. But I think I'm willing to let that one go because I do kind of love Sam live the life he always wanted, and even if he's living it like Carl Freckleson from Up. Choosing not to play Carry On My Way with some at the beginning of the episode really sucked out some of the energy and excitement I had going in, even though I knew it was going to play later. I was even more bummed when they started to play the pop version at the end. Yeah, a lot of y'all hated that pop version. I admit was not a fan of it. But yeah, no, Sam did get to live the life that he always wanted, and that was something that I did enjoy, even if it was a terrible fucking wig. But also the most wanted thing, like, that's what I'm excited about going into the seasons past five because i don't remember that shit at all like my god how many times do they die and get like erased from the fbi and whatnot it's already happened once in season three 
I still think Dean should have died a few years later after the brothers had some hunting post-God under the belt. A time skip would have been better. I mean, if they wanted to kill Dean, at least didn't don't kill him immediately afterwards. Come on. Now, that was something I was kind of confused about. Part of me thought that maybe it was a little bit afterwards, but if it was like immediately after Chuck died, then I, I thought that was kind of silly because right afterwards like come on give him a little bit of time bobby's beard was brown because it was a younger version of himself in heaven and it set up sam dying and being young again for all how the show has been for the years i thought it was a pretty good ending i mean of course there is always room for improvement but i think it was better than what i and most expected yeah you know i was expecting garbage so i i got you know not garbage in some places so you're telling me that after fighting Lucifer, God's sister, God, going to hell, bearing the mark of Cain, being the vessel of Michael, Dean dies to a rusty nail. Okay, whatever. I have overall mixed feelings about the series finale. On one hand, it's kind of poetic and bittersweet to end the series with just Sam and Dean, just like they started. On the other, I would have loved if they had included Cassiel at the end on the bridge and Sam and Dean in heaven. He had become a big part of the show, just as much as any of the brothers, in my opinion. If I were to rate the series finale, I would give it a 4.5 out of 7. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. Just fine. At least the finale didn't piss me off like How I Met Your Mother or Game of Thrones finale. Yes, it wasn't a Game of Thrones or it wasn't a How I Met Your Mother, in my opinion. If you jumped into this, like, hadn't watched any of the previous seasons, which I've been seeing a lot of people on IMDb have, yeah, you're going to get garbage in your own opinion because the transition from season 5 to season 15 is so jarring. I just rewatched Lazarus Rising from season 4 last night. My God, it's just, it's not the same show. But yeah, yeah it, uh, it hits a little weird, but I, I like the groundedness of it. But again, kind of going back off that other comment, I wish it had been a little later. I cried like a baby, sincerely tried not to, managed not even to shed a tear when Dean died. It was the moment Sam's son said, it's okay, Dad, you can go. Yeah, that, that, that we can reflect that on like losing family members too, right? Okie dokie, let's go. Okie dokie, let's go. The last two episodes... So I've seemed like a washed out version of Swan Song. Boys get beaten down by God is too similar to just Lucifer beating down Dean. Sam going to live the family life after his brother dies is the exact same as Dean going to live with Lisa and Ben. There is so much unanswered from this season and not in a fun way. Whereas we the fans wonder about certain things and it all just seems lazy and rushed. The emotional moments hit hard, which is expected. I've been watching this since the pilot, but this was not the ending that I was looking for from the boys p.s why did we never see jesse again the demon human half breed he can apparently wipe out half the host of heaven when it was actually significant and a single thought might have been useful this season like i said guys i have said this multiple times jack is that character he is dab's interpretation of that character they just didn't want to bring the kid back De literally jack is that character though it was a decent season finale. I got choked up when I need to let you tell me that it's okay. Line from Dean. At the end of the day, I'm still going to miss the series even though the show took a dip in quality. I look forward to seeing Jensen in The Boys Season 3. The aging really was cringe. I laughed when I should have been crying. Still a nice ending, but definitely a shoestring budget. I actually know some of the makeup ladies who worked on the show a few years ago, and I showed them this, and they're just baffled at how bad it is. Just baffled. I think the girl Samuel ended up with was Amelia. Six out of ten. Yeah, an okay ending. I found it hilarious. People are angry on Twitter. Well, there are people always angry on Twitter. After watching, I have mixed feelings. I wasn't angry and I wasn't happy. Dean's death was stupid and I laughed when I saw old Sam. Sam dialogue between Sam and Dean was cringe and Jensen's acting was strange. Okay, I thought I w I'm glad I wasn't the only one. But in the end, it was just okay. Actually, it's one of the worst episodes on IMDb. Yeah, it is. It's got... Um, it's got 4,000 more ratings than Swan Song right now, and it's 6.6 .6 out of 10. That's low. Like, holy shit. Here's what I hate. Besides the fact that they didn't keep the original Carry On My Wayward Son throughout the episode, the villain makes no sense. They could have used Jacob, the son of Amy's fam's friend for kids who knew that Dean killed in Season 7. The kid's last words after seeing Dean kill his mom were, you're the only person I'm going to kill. He was about, he would be about 18 to 19. I would have started feeding on humans out of rage. Don't remember that at all. Uh, I wish Dean had a son that Sam would have met, I, e.g. Sam's at the bar and sees a young guy and looks around. Uh, looks like Dean in a leather jacket chatting up with girls. He walks up to him and thinking that it's Dean, then he realizes it's not. Before turning away, he sees something on the guy, like a jacket or a necklace, and asks what he's got there. And the guy says, it was my dad's. His name is Dean, but I didn't know much about him. He was a one-night stand with my mom and left. Ah, that actually is a kind of a nice, cool, cool idea, similar to Ben. What do you like, ACDC? Yeah, actually, that would have been a cool idea. I didn't like how Sam just chucked the lighter 
Eh, you know what? That's what the tradition is. Like, I, I don't mind that one. Sam's wife could have spent two minutes showing a little bit more of Sam's life and showing Sam teaching the hunting techniques, not necessarily hunting demons, but just how to hunt. Like, kind of like, I guess, being defensive and whatnot. Instead of something like just his baseball and teaches his son how to look after a car, etc. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I have an idea as to why they couldn't do Eileen just because of uh, quarantine and whatnot. And that's the reason I'm going to bring up later on. But don't worry. I thought this was fine. Didn't expect the rusty nail would kill Dean Winchester. And yeah, the cameo of the girl from the first season was so random. I gave it a 4 to 7 and as well as it's better than most of the season's Chuck Awful episodes. Yeah, it was really random to see her. And also, by the way, I've actually done my season... 15 summary the last the from 12 to 18 was just a stream of garbage seven i think 18 was good but it just like the season took a massive hit in those last seven episodes 90 percent of the episode was a music video prove me wrong i'm still choked up at the end like a bitch though going to miss this show it was a lot of disappointments but this one got me through a lot i remember getting off a hard day's work and just wanting to hang out with the boys watching supernatural it was relaxing binge watching the series on netflix over and over again just to hang out with these group of characters sam dean castiel bobby it meant something to me despite our criticism the show has given us a lot of good memories and yes that is a hundred percent true that is 100 percent true i agree with this person totally I believe they wore the scary mask because uh, they had masks on for COVID underneath since it was hand to hand. Now, they didn't have to do that. Now, what they do is they screen the actors. When the actors come, they quarantine them. They do COVID tests and then they basically isolate for two weeks and then they come on to the scene. They can like, well, I'm working on a show right now and that's what they've done. That's what they were doing back when they started shooting this. I think that they actually couldn't afford to do the CG make <laughs> the CG fang thing for the show. I think that's why they did it. I like the ending. I just hated the episode because there was real no substance to it. I know that they had to make some changes because of the pandemic, but man, this could have been so much better, honestly. I would have had last week's episode as a real finale and no people, this is not the worst thing. This is not worse than Game of Thrones. At least this ended with Sam and Dean in peace and it goes on and carry on my way with some lyrics. There will be peace when they are done. And meanwhile, Game of Thrones ended in misery and death and admittedly, I didn't watch Game of Thrones, but you shouldn't end a show with feelings that you've lost or you've done or you're not done and still have more battles to fight at least with this ending i can safely say that sam and dean finally reunited with their family and they've made it through the series and the cast and crew members thank the fans at the end of the episode it shows that they really care where they were to thank the fans for supporting them not many shows i think of, of do an ending wasn't as good as last week's episode but oh man this is bon junky english it was leaps and bounds better than game of thrones shit ending. well you can't really judge it when you haven't watched it um, but yeah, no, Game of Thrones ending was pretty bad. The whole series should have ended in season five because after the show went to hell, uh, after that, the show went to hell. As for the last episode, it was lazy and e very uneven. Lee son of the mothers and the father of Diana, Sam, what? Sam at the end, at least could have shown the woman who's Sam had baby, had the baby I'm with. I mean, seriously, when I think about this show, it really upsets me because seasons one through five, quite possibly are the greatest series in the history of tele. Okay. I love this show too, but it's not that good. <laughs> uh, but then it turned into the biggest disaster ever. It was hard for me to think of a TV series that compares to Supernatural seasons one through five. Now, there's a lot. But admittedly, the entirety of Supernatural, it's very, very unique. The end is decent. I felt however, I, f I felt whatever about it. Honestly, I forced myself to watch it. Would I watch it again? No. I've been too disappointed. Ooh, ooh. I believe this was the best way for the show to end. Yes, it's safe, but I feel it has been done. It shouldn't had to be done like this. People will say, oh, Dean died from a rusty nail, even though he's faced demons, Lucifer, etc. People seem to forget that in this episode before one jack says he's clearly hands off also because chuck was defeated last episode he's no longer writing the story which makes sam and dean susceptible to anything now no more limited un uh, revives even to something as threatening as a rusty nail all in all i'm so happy with the finale again that was my biggest issue i had to kind of imagine that it, it, like all this whole chuck stuff hadn't happened like whole like writing of their destiny i i hated that garbage that was still going on it was like oh he's been writing our story i, I didn't like that bit i just liked that that it was free will all the way and then that's what this was this was free will to die wasn't good it was a really bad finale yep budget bad disappointed 
it finally ended. Actually, the majority of the episode was pretty decent. I was getting season one, two vibes, and throughout the vet and through thought the finale was pretty good. Honestly, Dean's death really worked for me. Dying on the job from something so simple compared to what they faced was pretty tolerable for some reason. Sam's reaction to it and the portrayal of his grieving process was also really good to me. The new heaven is also a pretty decent idea, but Sam going old and having a son but show no wife. Uh, felt kind of weird. Sam was always the main character to me, and the little brother who would, who would do whatever he could to prove that he was good despite his upbringing and the demon blood running through his veins. The boy who would sacrifice himself for the fate of the entire world and be at peace with it. I think this episode should have actually been two hours and built upon the first uh, what the first laid out. It seemed very lackluster and rushed. All in all, at least it wasn't terrible, and maybe Supernatural should have ended season five. It was great to get to go along with the ride for 15 years. Rest easy. I was so confused when that chick showed up, completely forgot about her. Overall, episode was kind of meh, nothing great but not bad. I cried a lot at this ending. It was beautiful, but I have some complaints. The final season was a big missed opportunity. When Hell opened up and all the whole, all the souls came out, Bella should have returned and get the conclusion that she actually deserved. It would have been made a lot of sense, and Laura Cohen herself was said she was down for it, but they preferred to bring random ass characters instead of the entire instead of throughout the entire season. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen Bella get some form of finale considering she got like booted out by angry fans in season three damn not even jody got an ending for her character yes i'm very mad about that one the female cast was cheated really badly in this ending a lot of bullshit and this ending literally could have happened without a lot of the episodes we got at first i was very emotional to notice this plot hole when bobby says time is different here in heaven and dean drives for like a couple of minutes and while life, Sam's life goes on, Dean ends the road and Sam's already old and he dies and they meet in heaven. But when I thought, wait, this is wrong. The boys would have gone to heaven in season five for an entire episode, spent a lot of time, and when they came back, time on earth hadn't passed like at all. So time in heaven is only different when Andrew Deb decides it. He had to wreck on the hell out of this to get that ending. A cast and Cass is supposedly alive, making his sacrifice in vain. Once I stopped crying, I started thinking, and it wasn't very pretty. Yeah, actually, the fact that they just say, "Yeah, Cass is alive. He's up here," and uh, I, I don't mind the the whole retconning of the season five thing because, like they said, they did say that they changed it, even though if it was just set off, it was just blah. The Wayward Sun cover at the end was terrible. Yeah, a lot of people hated it. I'm sorry, but I cried like a bitch when Dean died. <laughs> I've watched the show every week for 15 years, and although the finale was okay, I, I think the production team really bitched out at the ending. It was good, but it could have been so much better. I'm really going to miss this show, but things I wanted to see for the finale. Jesse be brought back for Sam, or Jessica be brought back for Sam. Dean finally find out if Ben was his son. The Antichrist kid storyline from season five to wrap up. And the biggest what the fuck happened to Becky, her husband and kids. What was the point of going to see her and then dust her? But Oh, yeah. Where the hell did Becky go? <laughs> um, I'm going to act like season uh, episode 19 was the actual end of Supernatural. Ooh. Only good episode was 20. This season was way this from the way the season was going. I thought it was going to be crap like Cass's death. No emotion, but I was wrong. Ass cheeks. <laughs> what i cried sam dying hit me personally mom was similar the boys got what they deserve mary and john and many mob many more you didn't mention how it was what what i need to tell you i need you to tell me it's okay line very decent loved it cried it felt like saying uh to the series goodbye and it's okay yeah i, I think that is actually a pretty good point talking about how like it's okay for the show to end okay guys sam and dean were largely unimportant this season so it was nice to see them with their own series finale except for the part where dean tragically dies and sam is forced to carry on new and improved heaven does seem like something a child would envision but an eternity of what you want without the struggles or accomplishments seems boring and empty i give sam and dean and possibly bobby a month before they try to escape it's funny enough like a lot of this talk is making me think about the ending of the good place which you guys should watch by the way I myself stopped watching the show after season 13, but decided to watch the finale to see how it ends. The vampire ad was a bit meh, but I did start enjoying it once Bobby came back. So overall, it was okay. Although I kind of wish they had tied up a little bit of loose ends. Like, didn't Dean promise Benny he'd get him out of purgatory? Oh, so what happened to Adam? Did he really just die? It seems like the those who got screwed over. Everything, God, you don't know how badly the Adam Michael thing got screwed over. Family is everything to the Winchesters, right? Lastly, I'd like to say I've been watching and enjoying your reviews of Supernatural since season 12, and I look forward to seeing some of the older reviews as well as other stuff. Also, sorry if this was really long. No, bud, you 
you're you're not long. Don't worry. But yeah, no, I uh, um thank you. I'm I'm very excited to start season four soon. Thank God someone else mentioned the age makeup. Oh, buddy, don't worry. It's like it's being ripped apart on the internet right now. Personally, I really love this episode and couldn't imagine a better ending for the brothers. Eh, there's a few actually. You know, there's a few comments that are going to be coming up that actually give a pretty good alternative ideas. They also never went back to the Antichrist kid again, guys. Like I said, Jack is basically that character. They just weren't going to bring that kid back because. Oddly enough, that was one thing they didn't want to wreck on. Pretty much my feelings. I contained a bunch of stuff about that had more weight if we hadn't seen it a thousand times before on the show. Dean's real death, Bombie's cameo, etc. The weird way it made me feel like How I Met Your Mother rushed to the finish, uh, the, the finish narrative for Sam. A lot more serviceable than it was on the show. Because it didn't feel real to us. I'm, or I'm guessing Sam, like he was living a dream just waiting to wake up uh, as their own deaths without consequence was his th slash their reality. All in all, last week's episode as part to make up the finale, not bad. Nothing really captivating or original, very predictable, with a tiny twist of them having that happy ending in heaven as opposed to on Earth. But at the end of the day, things made sense for the most part, and all the main characters were true to themselves for the most part, and they didn't fall into subverting expectations trap that's ruined so many long-running films slash shows recently. I'll take this type of low-key but pl pl platable pot 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 i can't, can't, can't say the word palatable palatable ending <laughs> the game of thrones season eight every day of the week this is the end of a really big cool show and they end it with a five bucks episode damn man i really hope for a quality ending waiting years for non-stop just to hurt to end like this <laughs> I really like the finale. The, the show went back to its grounded form, something I've missed for a long time now. The boys just doing ordinary hunting business instead of doing dealings with gods, angels, death. I got closure for the show. I really did miss it. Being a follower for the past 15 years is like saying goodbye to a longtime friend. The message at the end made me shed some tears, not going to lie. Yeah, that was my favorite part was them saying goodbye to the fandom. Ah, uh, long time no, ah, man, long time no see. This episode was like a home run. It wasn't about cheaping on the budget, dude. It's about focusing on the boys. Dude, that, that was cheaping on the budget. That wig. The lack of blood. Like, There's a lot of cheaping out in this episode. It's about focusing on the boys. It started with the boys and it ended with the boys. That's why it didn't show what Sam was with Eileen. And that's why it didn't have the blood coming from Dean's mouth. It was focusing on the emotional aspect. And really, I feel blood would have kind of ruined that. And that's the way overall I liked it. I like this review. It was nice. The reason why I'm so passionate about the show is because it was there for me through some depressive shit. Losing my own... Oh losing my kid through the shit in my life so i guess that's why i came on so strong last time sorry about that wow whoa man i'm sorry but yeah i've heard that this show didn't get a few people through uh, some heart troubling times so i'm glad it was there for them and i was glad it was there for you it was just as predictive just as i predicted kind of a regular hunt that would have ended with one of their lives or one or ended one of their lives and the brothers left behind to live their life Justin actually had a problem with this finale, but he was pretty much overruled by staff, so he was talked into doing it. He and Jared personally didn't want the show to end and expressed that they were willing to return if there was any supernatural projects in the future. Yeah, of course they would, guys. This is easy money for them. But I'm kind of like, I'm actually happy that they, they that they were overruled because the show needed to end, guys. It just It just needed to end. I think I know what you mean, Jeremy. I'm still having a hard time processing that it's actually over. I thought that it was it was appropriate ending for the series. Just with the season proceeding, it wasn't so mediocre. After all, a good story should have had a good journey, not just a good ending. Four to seven for me. Good point. Very good point. I still like the finale for the most part, but I feel like there were tons of character arcs that never got closed. Are so I can see how fans are pissed, to be honest, and so am I a little bit in that regard. I would have would not have mind if the, they delayed the last two episodes for another six months, a whole hell, a whole year, if that meant they could have got mostly everyone as well as what had happened to them. Yes, I know because of the COVID situation, but still, yeah, no, a lot of people could not return because there's no way they're going to bring all these actors up here, isolate them for two weeks have them on for, excuse me, one episode, one day, and then have them sent back for them to then quarantine again for two weeks. Because most of these actors are from the States, right? There's no way they could have paid for that. They couldn't pay for a good wig. So you think they could pay for that? As soon as the vampires came out of a hiding, I suddenly dawned on me that this was a series finale. All plot armor was gone after realizing that the fighting actually became tense again because I was worried for their lives. Rightly so, apparently. To be honest, my one concern was for Dean and Sam not to be separated. We all know that in the supernatural world, there is life after death. And the fact that they are there away from the world's cruelty is enough for me. And I'm happy with that. I couldn't care less about any other character. <laughs> 
The aging makeup was trash. Dean's death was very unceremonious. For a character so legendary in the world of Supernatural and the real world, it felt real weak and a bad way to go. For crying out loud, they were fight they fought God in the last episode. Shake my head. I really can't believe that this is how they decided to kill Dean, but I can say I felt something at the end credit. P.S. Whose idea was it to play a pop version of Carry On? Again, that's something that some people are having some issues with, with how Dean died, and it's very grounded. It's it's a back to the roots sort of idea and the fact that it's more so they don't have to worry about anything anymore. And I think that's what they're trying to come across. It wasn't done as good as it could have been, yes, but it's still trying. I'm not making excuses for it, but I know where they're coming from. Oh, got a critical one here. What a waste of an ending. They finally get to live their lives and choose to go back to dwelling in the man cave to do what they did before. They couldn't get the actors of Eileen, Mary, or John to come back? No, they could not. Even after dying, don't worry, Dean, everyone is here, but you're just not going to meet any of them because they couldn't get the actors to come back for the final episode. Oh, and Cass is back, but we don't want to take away from the last episode except for mentioning that he's not gone. Here's your favorite car. Why don't you drive around for like 50 years until Sam dies of old age? And just so you don't go insane, we'll say something vague like time doesn't happen the same way here. Who thought it was smart to keep focusing on the, that rebar? kill him then don't just keep pointing at it like uh oh but this rebar could end up killing someone not gonna say who we know the last episode is like a fire cell for characters telegraphing it makes it for poor writing if you wanted an afterlife episode just kill dean and sam in episode 19 have jack actually suicide bomb chuck like he was supposed to depowers chuck and the brothers can get their last laugh as they die knowing that their death is, is knowing their death ended it all for their years of service and sacrifice episode 20 let them reunite with the people that they lost along the way in heaven instead you could have had jack unlock all the cheat codes wrap everything up we don't have we don't have to deal with the mt because jack god slash jack dealt with it and got cast back everybody rolling their eyes let's just say the episode 19 as it is and then why not have jack make the world follow the rules of our world no more demons and angels magic and etc we don't need an empty arc they still occasionally check the internet and their connections for possible supernatural problems, but nothing ever comes up. Maybe they die old, but Dean will most likely die soon. I'd rather have a scene for this. Unless he changes his lifestyle, which would have been nice to see Dean grown up. They have their own families. Maybe Sam takes up writing now that his story is no longer dictated by Chucks. Dean could have had a bar, could have been a bar owner. He hated Michael for putting him in that nightmare scenario, but Michael did pick up what he truly wanted outside of hunting most of this could have been sam's narrating and happens with clips of playing some flashbacks with the song plays in the background old sam closes the laptop after finishing his memoir his son yells at him that he's going to be late for the first day of college sam yells back i'll be right there Cass." fades to black roll a clip of everyone thinking the scenes yeah that's kind of like um it's like a lord of the rings ending kind of a little bit now i, I don't mind that idea that's actually not a bad idea i'm a new subscriber but i felt this review was a long time coming Oh, yeah. It's been 15 years. I agree with the fact that they were lacking in their budget with, like, the aging makeup was pretty crap. However, I really liked that they ended up seeing each other in the end, and everyone they loved was in heaven. It did suck that Dean died young while Sam got to live out his life, though. The bittersweet ending made it more impactful to the audience, too. Overall, COVID messed things up for a lot of productions, and 2020 should be erased and redone. That would actually be pretty nice to redo this year. Dean died saving two brothers. Perfect death, in my opinion. It would have drawn... It was a bit drawn out, but I thought it was a good way to go, I thought. Yeah, no, it's not bad. The finale leaving open the possibility of a spinoff. The Chuck God really was a terrible writer, but aren't we all afflicted by the fear of ending a good story? No, there's no more spinoff, guys. No, 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 no. Dean's death was perfect. It would have been worse if they fixed him. Eh. <sighs> I guess what, I, know, I know where you're coming from, but I just, I had to take out all of these things out of my mind. Like, they could do this, they could do this, they could do this. I just have to push it all out because, like, this is the last episode. It was okay for me, too. There were a couple of scenes that got my eyes wet, but nothing really heart-wrenching. I felt it was an accomplishment now that I can say that I've watched a series of 15 years. Oh, yeah, there's, there's nothing else like this, pretty much. While it was not my favorite episode, I really enjoyed how reminiscent the vibe of the first half was to earlier seasons. The small town event, M.O.W., and pulling on, um... Pulling out John's journal all brought back great nostalgia from a time before God and all that stuff over escalated the drama and I think forced the show from its original charm. And while 
Part of me feels like Dean's death just came out of nowhere, merely because of the way that the rest of the season was rushed. I do appreciate that he got his guns blazing finale and in some ways dying in a typical line of duty gig seems appropriate. Let me just think about Sam's Dean's death 113-ish for the real for real this time. Sam montage was kind of cheesy and his morning was not as dressed with nearly enough time. And also, I didn't get how Cass is still in the equation being in the empty unless Jack pulled him out of his own perdition. However, Dean's heaven driving scene with Carry On brought joy to my heart that that was how I wanted this to end it for him and that was my favorite scene. I kind of wish that they used the original version by Kansas all the way through instead of transitioning to a remake, but that bridge scene was beautiful and an excellent way for the brothers to truly find peace. The whole episode, the whole cast and crew at the end was so, so, so amazing. The question is now, will CW pull a Vampire's Diary and make a legacy series of Sam's Kid? Please no. As Kansas sings, it will be peace when you are done. Yep, and I'm done. Thanks for the ride, Winchesters. There's no way. They tried to do a spinoff twice in this entire show's runtime and they never got it through it's not gonna happen god please don't let it happen finally this finale may remind me a lot of dexter's finale it was anticlimactic and extremely underwhelming the episode was lame the writing was mediocre the production values were almost non-existent and the acting was strange especially jared's old man acting with the wig and the impala my jaw dropped just because i actually could not believe what i was seeing i also had to mute my tv during death dean's overly dramatic death speech because i was going to, into cringe overload more forced drama like castiel's final scene this show, this finale just proves to me yet again that the show should have ended up with season five with the genuine drama and tension from the excellent storytelling. However, unfortunately, it didn't end with season five and now Supernatural will be added to the long list of shows that went way too long and overstayed their welcome. That will be this show's legacy. It will be part of it. Most definitely, it will be part of it. I liked the slice of the life part pie and everything else. I found it very natural and laughed once. I liked the goodbye dialogue between Dean and Jared. I cried. But I thought it was really dumb that they were not using the guns with the dead man's blood again, just for plot convenience. I didn't, and I didn't like Dean dying so immediately after defeating Chuck. I wish for a better written ending, but I guess I, I expected a worse ending, so I'm okay with this ending. Thank you for the reviews, Jeremy. No problem. Hope you guys uh, continue on for season four reviews. Fantastic ending. The boy, the ending the boys deserve. Finally get to live a perfect life without suffering, pain, or death. Never growing old and being surrounded by people they love forever. Uh, I, I do like the happiness. It's it, melodramatic, like Hallmark, yes, but it's not bad. Is that a four star for the series as a whole or a four out of ten for the entire series? I guess you haven't watched my reviews, but I, I do it at a four out of seven. If it's a four out of ten, you're off when it comes to viewing e each and every episode of the series. Supernatural had six outstanding seasons and four average seasons. The rest are all that are all bad. That's simply an assessment based off the of, for a good point of bad versus Supernatural had one, four, six, seven, wow. What? One, four, six, eight, nine are their best seasons? Season 2, 10, 14, and 15 are the average. Season 3, 7, 11, and 13 as bad seasons. Whoa, boy. You and I have very different opinions because 3 and 11 are some of my favorites. And 14 is terrible. Yeah, 14 is a really bad season. I don't know how you put it in an average season. Uh, I know uh, it was part of season 13, but honestly, there's some good episodes. Plus, season 13 was bad. For instance, the real Ghostbusters season 5 and 9 didn't really push the overall story forward, but without a Dean would have had his perspective on life, nor would he have learned that Sam and Dean could influence people in their world in a big way without knowing the, without knowing they do. The episode was done well in an interesting way and they gave the lead to the demon killing cult. Uh, to be honest, I think you should redo this video and think of Supernatural as a timeline journey. After all, everyone followed the journey of Sam and Dean. Is, is, I'm not redoing this video, dude. It's, it wasn't like... I, no, I think you haven't watched my... Watch my other reviews. I've got the playlist there. You can, you can see all that. When they brought the villains with the masks and the first thing I thought of was they were, they're not monsters and the boys were going to stick... Fight sick twisted humans like they did in the episode in the earlier seasons that, that would have been cool eh, they would have really tooled them really to be honest uh hey and also it, was, it had to be monsters they had to die fight like one of them had to die fighting monsters yeah from the writing standpoint i hated this episode everything good about it was technically not original sam and dean shared heaven was semi-canon before that and they connected to the plot j2 chemistry in my own opinion my honest opinion pretty much cared about most about the dialogue. Call me basic for hating Dean's death, but it feels like a product of Dab subvert the expectations without properly building up to it. Plus, as you said, you need to excuse so much stuff to believe in it considering Jack isn't hands-free and revive Cass and all. If it wasn't for the meta thank you to everybody in the last couple of scenes, I wouldn't be, I couldn't, I wouldn't, without batting an eye, have said that episode 19 is a better ending. It's predictable vanilla open ending 
but it's still better than what we got for the first half of uh, episode 20. No wonder Jensen was freaking out when he got the script, but with the final product, it makes me feel hollow. Ooh. I think mom of Sam's kid is the girlfriend when Dean was in purgatory. Oh, that weird storyline that everyone kind of just wonders what that was. Even though the most recent seasons were trash, I must admit this show has a, pre has a special place in my heart if I'm willing to sit through the worst episodes of TV history just to see the characters I know and love. Have a good ending. This show gave me chills, taught me about sacrifice, taught me about heroism, and made me cry for 15 years. Great show. No, yeah, it has had a lasting effect on a lot of people, a lot of us. For the finale, Dab decided to write an episode of Supernatural. Why couldn't we have had this show for the last four <laughs> seasons? I would have given it a 7 out of 7. It was pure supernatural. It doesn't have layers. There's no epic fight scenes. There's more epilogue. But at the end of the day, all I wanted to, to feel was an emotion like I used to watching Supernatural back when it was fun and moving and scary. So for me, it delivered on that front. At least I feel peace rather than anger like most for the last three to four years. It's so authentically supernatural that I'm questioning whether or not it would actually be plagiarism. They could, and they could totally be brought back. No, no, it's over, guys. It's 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 over. They, it's an ending of a legacy, but it is over. But yeah, no, I see what you mean there. But he did technically take from Swan Song. I don't know why there are so many those who are complaining about the ending. It was perfect. Dean's death made sense. One of because one of them had to go uh, live a normal life. Sam was the most logical choice to stay because he was a smarter. <laughs> He was able to continue the life he had started before the first episode and Dean. He got what he always wanted to be with his mom and dad and even Bobby. They reunited when it was Sam's time. The point of the finale was to show everyone that no matter who you are, you can you still cannot escape the inevitable truth about life and death, but there is also good in life. That that dude that's like that's that's pretty that's pretty obvious. People complaining about Cass not being in the show or coming back to life. Well, haven't we had enough of that? How many times has he died and then come back? And we're also complaining about God not showing his full power. I mean, this is God from the TV series Supernatural. This isn't Thanos from Avengers Endgame, but they did take a lot of Endgame in this. And there was also nothing cringy about their dialogue in Dean's death. It was emotional and genius. It was cringy, guys. It was a little cringy. It was, it was okay, but it was a little bit cringy at times. I'll admit, based on how many issues I've had with season 15, that they were going to mess up the ending. I was surprised I liked the ending. Yeah, I agree that there should have been more blood in the barn scene and sad due to COVID. No Aline and good in heaven. If there was a, if there was cast to say goodbye to, to uh, hello to Dean. Saying that if it was not for COVID, I doubt that they would have shown restraint on the amount of old characters seen in heaven, which would have been killed that scene. Honestly, I feel that this is the best ending that we were going to get with Dab and felt Dean's death was well done in dialogue. Just right, not cheesy like cast death. Also wanted to say thanks for your reviews. I love the show from the start. I love the show from the start, but it's not been perfect. So enjoy your reviews. Are balanced enough that I always don't agree with. Exact uh, crossword blues will not be my top five. Season two. Oh, all right. Season fifteen had made it clear that Dab and the current writers have made a show a shadow, a shadow of its former self. I find it interesting that Jensen was on board with ending after talks with Kripke, not Dav. I would love to know your thoughts in Jensen joining the boys. Be differently, a uh, different character for Dean. Also, sorry for the long post, and thank you again for your videos. No, thank you. I think, honestly, that's why Jensen was okay with ending Supernatural, because he's going on to the boys, and he's going to get paid a lot more on that. This was the best way that it could have ended. Dean uh, dying and Sam becoming a dad and growing old was really cool. I thought it was a good ending for the both of the characters. I'm dad confused on how they took dark God, the darkness, the British men of letters, and he's gets taken out by a vampire. At least Sam got the ending he deserved. Completely agree with the age makeup. I know it's in some of uh, the new ones, Centris decided to recede, so he would have been bold when he's older. I'm sorry, I don't I don't I don't know what you're meaning at the end there. It was either pay with blood drops or for Dean or make Sam old look like an SNL skit. They opted for SNL skit, Sam. <laughs> Thank you for mentioning uh, Sam's older makeup. I think it's literally just the hair and nothing else. I don't think Jared could take himself seriously enough to act in that scene. Sam's son, Dean, and Carry On were reprised was so were too sappy, and I think it could have been left out. Other than that, I mostly liked the episode. It made the series fin as a finale of this particular series. Check the boxes, and it needed to. 4.5 out of 7. I just went to IMDb. The amount of one-star reviews for this episode is hilarious and sad at the same time. I wonder if the actors actually take time to look at the reviews. I feel bad for Jensen. You deserve better. Hey, Dad, you suck. Oh, it's crazy, the amount of negative reviews. I'm going to do a video about it soon. Don't worry, but it's crazy. If they make a movie, it will probably revolve around Sam's son, Dean. How did you spell son wrong? Sorry, but that...
For me, the series ended with the boys dri- driving off into the distance in episode 19. That feels like the right way to end the series. But hey, if, if it's their money to be made, I'm sure they will return. I hated it. Terrible. The show really ended season five. The writers could have been fired and never hired again. I am angry. <laughs> It finally ended, and I'm so confused. I thought this episode was very strange. I mean, like, the personal end for each of the brothers, uh, but the execution was terrible. The most cringe scene was old Sam dying in his living room, and Dean's death was so mad. I really like the idea of Dean dying, but the way he dies was a weak one. Maybe if he had died in the battle between God, it would have been much better. But like you said, it's not terrible, actually. It was good to see Sam finally have a normal life, and Dean could rest in heaven. Sam join- joining joining him joining him at the end of was kind of beautiful but really wanting to have some kind of swan song ending at the end supernatural last so much that the ending ended suffered because of that it lasted too long uh, andrew dab's writing is poor as hell but some ideas are actually good i'm very conflicted but overall i'm grateful for this show changing my life forever and yes even with the ups and downs it's it will be in my heart forever take a rest in peace supernatural Oh, 5,000 views, 200 plus comments. Jeremy, I hope you remember all the people who commented and liked your videos all the way back in the day to help you get here. LOL. Enjoy the Snickers bars. You've earned them. No, I do. I'm always appreciative of you guys. It's it's crazy to see how much has, like, how like woo, how many people have just watched and commented on these on these videos over the years. Weren't there behind the scenes of photos of Uriel coming back? What happened to that? And why is no one talking about it? I, I didn't know anything about that. I'm still a mess from last night. I really disliked the writing slash plotting since season 11, but I loved, still love these characters, and I cried for hours. I thought the masks wore, uh, the vamps wore masks because of COVID protocols and filming. Two birds, one stone. No, like I said, it wasn't because of that. I, I really think it was because they couldn't afford the a CG. I really, wa- I was really waiting for an intense ending, a fight between Chuck versus the Winchesters and their famous and loved allies throughout all the years however this was an ending and it is kind of disappointing i believe they could have done better sadly we won't be seeing them anymore that is very sad i really like but necessary i really liked season five or six i felt that the only way that this could have ended properly was this winchester boys dying and that's what happened All, although in ways i was expecting that it was it was too much by surprise i cried more than once if sam had gone first i would probably have been indifferent but killing dean first really hurt Maybe they will make a movie someday where they're in heaven. What's the point of that? Does honestly, though, like, what would be the point of that? Reunited in heaven. Perfect ending. The only reason the ending stirred up anything inside of us is because most of us have been watching it for over 10 years. Oh, yes, this comment's actually really good. If you take all of that away, it's pretty underwhelming, like most of the, ep- the episodes uh, after season five. I honestly kept on watching because of out of habit and wanting to see, ever since season six, how it would end. Sadly, it wasn't good. Who are we kidding? It just wasn't. I know the pandemic screwed up the original idea and probably most of it, but it is what it is. It was not good. I do like that point. Like We have to do look at it without rose-tinted glasses on, and that's what I tried to do when I first reviewed it. The makeup threw me off. It threw everyone off. I really liked this episode. I did cry. Like you, I thought the age makeup on Sam was horrendous, especially that wig that he sat in the Impala with. It looked like something you get out of a Halloween store as part of a costume. They probably did. At first, I didn't like that Sam didn't die with Dean, but by the end of the episode, I was really happy that the way it went. It also thought that, like you, that it was a lean in the background and waiting for some quick close-up, but it never came. I get that they probably couldn't come out for a five-second insert shoot, but they could have sent someone to be uh with her with a iphone or something i held mine i would have loved mine like a photo or something i also questioned when bobby said that cassiel helped jack fix heaven isn't chaos and the empty i said those were the things that bugged me it was really predictable for the moment jim beaver's uh name appeared in the opening credits i knew he was going to be the original bobby and therefore they were going to go to heaven i didn't predict how they would get there but at this but they did just the same telegraphed it right to the from the start yeah, that rando wife threw me. Like, give us a bone here by putting Sam with someone we recognize slash appreciate. Six out of seven for me. I loved it. I think Swan Song is slightly a better finale, but only slightly because it was a, this was an incredibly amazing to, a, way to end the show, in my opinion. Sure, the show wasn't perfect and has its flaws after season five anyway, but all in all, it's one of the better finales out there. I was satisfied with and happy with it. It's it, this one looks a lot better <laughs> for me. Seven out of ten. My only negatives are the random cameo and Dean dying from a nail. But overall, I really enjoyed the pie scene, the heaven scenes. I absolutely love that they included the neon cover. You're the first person to like this cover, 
And I thought Jared and Jensen acting was great. All in all, I thought it was a decent finale. I've heard nothing but negatives about that cover. And to be honest, I didn't like that cover much either. Really didn't enjoy the way they handled Dean's death. I kept thinking to myself that they know healing magic, but whatever, at least it's over now. The most positive thing I can say about this episode is that we finally got to see the real Bobby. Also, that last shot was pretty good, although the remix of, Amer- of Americana could have been better. In conclusion, disappointed in how it ended. They really tried to force some tearjerkers here. Sadly, it fell flat and no effect on me. What a shame. Anyways, thank you for consistently providing us with reviews. Without them, I probably would have dropped the show a lot by season 13. Yeah, season 13 was a, was a struggle. As a six-year-old watching the first uh, the episodes every week, I kind of grew up with the show questioning my parents now. though. Now at 21, it feels kind of weird and it's not going to be around. The finale was a bit of, of everything crammed in. Dean's unremarkable death was all right if you ignore all the things that could have done been done to prevent it, which is, if you're still watching by now, I'm sure you managed to master. <laughs> I got what they were trying to do. Sam going full apple pie was okay, besides the $1 makeup treatment he received. I did love the car porn. All I know is that I can accept for what it is, which says more than the show about the more about the show because I suppose minus a f- uh, became I suppose minus a few highlights, mainly season eleven, pouring out one for the supernatural. Sucks how it got shallow and shit, but I'm probably still gonna miss it even though I shouldn't. I overall enjoyed the finale. Was it safe and as predictable? Yes, but it was also overall satisfying with the ending. I also heard people on IMDb criticizing the episode for ruining the show's previous seasons. Do you agree with all this criticism? Just want to know. I will admit, like, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say it till I day I die. The show should have ended in season five. So they kind of got what they got for going as long as they did. It was, it was a completely expected sort of finale. So it doesn't bother me too much, but I'm just used to it. People who would have ended, say, watching around season six, seven, and then coming back to this. Yeah, I could have seen why they'd be pissed. Wow, can't be- uh, almost the end of a generation. It is the end of a generation, in terms of the show, anyways. Whoa, can't believe this show is gone now. I, li- I, en- I like the ending overall. Dean's death was great, has done great, and I liked how he died to a mundane thing. It was grounded to the show. It grounded the show, and we couldn't have gotten... We've gotten in that long time. Huh? Sam's death... Though I was not a fan of. It was too corny and I think he should have continued Dean's legacy by hunting. I think the writers forgot all at the same time what Sam loves hunting just as much as Dean. But anyway, it was a nice way for the show to go out on. Not as good a swan song as, as ideally hoped for, but it was good enough. Actually, no, Sam wanted to go back to a normal life. That was the idea all the way back from season one. So I can understand where they're going from. Had that kind of completely disappeared from the aspects of the show by this time? Yeah, but I can see where they were going for I felt like the episode before the finale, the season finale, I think it was better. I think that episode should have been used as the last episode because to me it would have been a lot better than the last episode that they went with. The last episode should have went out with a bang and they should have used blood and better makeup. But I think it, they just wanted to get it done and over with with the real season. I think it sucked due to COVID-19 and there was it was also rushed. And I think that is why I did not like the finale. I don't know why, but when a season comes to an end, it seems like they just don't care and they rush and they throw it at a wall and hope it sticks. Sometimes, sometimes that happens. I love Supernatural and I've checked, watched, enjoyed every episode, but at the same time, they ended the Vampire Diary. They ended the same way. Apparently, it's kind of similar to that. I've heard a lot of people making that comment, comparison. They never pay off the telescope, and yes, the wig was hilarious, and they could have, they could have just salt and pepper his natural hair. I let my rage burst in the incredible comment on episode 19 that you didn't read, but I don't judge. It depends if you didn't, like, if you had your spelling correct. This is coming from someone who doesn't hate everything after season five and actually loves the Jeremy Carver's era. I even had developed an appreciation for Sarah Gamble recently. So here it is. I don't care about the afterthought of the show. Why should I? Why should I? Do I care that Dean died from some full vampire rather than primordial beings that he fought? No, I don't. Do I care that the fact that Jack, that moron, solves heaven on off screen? No, I don't. Do I care that the horrendous effects? No, I don't. Why? Because I simply don't care anymore about Andrew Dabbs' lazy dog shit. I don't count D- Dabbs' era as canon. To me, the show ended with season 11 and the edited finale that I made. It actually it way more satisfying than this. I know it's the end of the show and I shouldn't be so mean, but honestly, after being waterboarded by season four seasons of fan fiction... Uh, that managed to disrespect every showrunner before them and ruined each and every character that I loved. I can't sit around and not call Dab out for what he is, a talent, a talentless, lazy hack. Yeah, I would say season 11 just don't have their mom come back, and that's that's a good ending too. Just like Chuck says, fans will always find something to bitch about. Well, 
It's not bitching if it's proper criticism. Hi, Jeremy. Supernatural is over. It's ended despite the show's flaws and the fact that the show is not perfect. I mean, all the plot holes and all the inconsistencies. In spite all of that, I still love the show. I love your videos, even though some of your videos, you got really angry and everything. You could barely, you could be really negative sometimes. Despite that, I still loved your videos. You were honest. You were a fan. You didn't just pretend that this show was perfect. You knew it wasn't. Remember the times when you said the show was running itself into the dirt and it didn't want and didn't want to admit that you were right you were always right so i love your videos i will always love your videos and i can't wait to see what you do now and the show is over thank you jeremy for making these awesome videos please keep making awesome videos that's all no oh, thank you that's really positive I, I will i'll be continuing on with season four so we can rewatch like good supernatural together honestly i think given the state of things i think it was absolutely painful and poetically beautiful at the same time so many people can relate to losing someone and this episode would have been a major trigger for them then a little piece at the end as well. I'm a religious person, so maybe that's that's it, but I love this episode. I would have liked to see more of the favorite characters at the end, but due to COVID, I, I guess that wasn't possible. I do think this episode would have been better if they had their typical resources. COVID sucks. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm not mad at the ending. I thought the writers did a decent job of foreshadowing, showing Sam very comfortable and in sync with the domestic life, while Dean doesn't quite fit in. And then there was Sam looking longingly at the family walking by with the dad in flannel. And of course, Dean's final meal is all the pie he can eat. Dean's death and Sam finding new purpose in, in found family makes sense. My only question is now what? They're going to sit around and drink beer and riding in baby for in heaven for eternity? Sounds boring. Segue. If you haven't watched The Good Place, Jeremy has a good review on it. It's a perfect time to start watching the show. Yes, that's the one I was looking for. Yes, you should watch The Good Place. It's very, very good. It's COVID. Eileen couldn't be there and Garth would have been at Dean's funeral or when Sam burned his body, but it's risky to have too many people on set, I guess. No, it's just bringing them. It's this, it's the transporting and bringing them and holding them and the, all the money. It's just too much. Too long didn't read. I kind of shrug episode, but at least it's over. Bring some closure to something I've been watching since high school. Okay, ending just fine. However, I did want to say that in addition to the spells that they could have used to save Dean, aren't they supposed to have the luck of Greek heroes? Doesn't anyone remember that little addition to the canon earlier in the season? Yeah. Eh. I suppose they could have burnt up the whole Chuck fiasco, but it's not even mentioned, so it makes me feel like they forgot about it. Mary and Castiel are mentioned, with Castiel being back again, snore, but neither of them could be in the episode, even though they were both in their, their own retrospective episode. So what did they do? What did they go bef bo both go to the set and record their thoughts on the series, but not actually want to play out the finale? I think that they did that before. I'm pretty certain they did that um, they might have done that back in like season 15 like before covid happened that that's my theory speaking of retrospective andrew Debs, who shouldn't be able to confirm this since he can't he didn't write it confirms that chuck wasn't supposed to be god when he was first written now maybe i guess them a pass for the end of season four but certainly not season five or later before season 11 confirmed it, there were too many nods and inside jokes to Chuck being God by that point. So I guess my point is that Dab found a way to confirm something that he may or not even know. Pretty much agree with your review in the episode as a series as a whole. Great content. Keep it up. Now, I think that maybe maybe what Dab's talking about is when they first created Chuck that they didn't think they were going to do that. Maybe, but I'm pretty certain by the end of season five, he is definitely God. LOL, you gave me a good laugh with that most unexpected vampire chick cameo. I needed that. They didn't even show Eileen in, in season... Uh, in 14 when they went on the date and then she got raptured in 18 so surprisingly she wasn't in 20 annoying for sure i agree with you 100 percent. unlike the cast's death dean's uh, death tugged some heartstrings a little but it wasn't outrageous table flip writing choice once i saw the rebar there i immediately knew that's how at least one of the brothers was going to go out it felt reminiscent of sam's first death in season two the bloody hand the fact that he was impaled in the back and that i can't do this without you and the way dean slumps into sam is the examples that mirror season two scene that i think of off the top of my head very good points very good little points there with the credits rolling i felt satisfied which is honestly amazing uh with, at, with episodes 18 and 19 getting my go to bit I like the little Easter eggs of their aliases being Kripke and Singer. Did you notice Dab's pie sign? Yes, I did notice that. And I did notice the names too. I like that they showed Sans uh, processing Dean's death and moving on to apple pie life and the boys had longed for for so long. It's unclear if Sam let his son hunt or not. Maybe he told him about his extra long hero's journey and only put the anti-possession tattoo on Dean Winchester as a precaution. I could not contain my laughter at old Sam. The makeup was terrible. One show that does fake aging process quite well as Outlander. Another tidbit I notice is the last lines of the episode are the same ones said during the wrestling match in the very first episode. 
Very glad that they brought old original Bobby back. A little myth that Jack and Cass were only mentioned, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. The fighters did throw a nod to Jared's always keep fighting campaign. Yes, they did. I noticed that as well. I'm so sorry for the essay I wrote, Jeremy. My hat's off to you for putting up with the effort to review and critique this beloved series. No problem. Thank you. What I'm getting from this is that Supernatural is like a gymnast performance. The Gymnast starts out pretty good and then goes on to deliver a fantastic routine until it goes on for too long. The gymnast gets tired and begins to stumble before until the gymnast falls and oh and frails over the floor like a fish out of water, breaking equipment and their own limbs. This is going on for way too long, but in the end, the gist, gymnast rises to their feet and strikes a pose. And all you can think of is, well, at least the gymnast is okay. Mostly, I don't know where I was going with this, but I'm pretty glad it's over and it wasn't bad as Game of Thrones. That's actually a really good one. That's one of my favorite comments so far. <laughs> loved it, but would have loved to see Crowley and the Ghost Facers in the final season. Would have liked to have also seen a bit of the ending when it left an open for left an opening for a comeback. No coming back from this. Yes, yeah, Sam's aging makeup was pretty cheesy. The half demon human from the earlier seasons seemed like a loose end. After 15 seasons, though, how can we possibly end this to please everyone? Tear jerker. Last thought. Would have loved to see Dean greet Sam on the bridge by saying, "Good to see you, bitch." With Sam saying, "And he would have been wouldn't be anywhere else, jerk." Nah, I'm okay. I, I think that would have been a bit too much. What? And that was probably the best way they could have ended the show like this is where everyone has died a million times i did laugh out loud at sam's old man wig and dean's body on the fire so fake how could Cass be in heaven but wouldn't he be in the empty supernatural is done a long trip it's been did anyone else watch the same episode as me this was the worst episode of anything i've ever seen it was i can see where you're coming from i can see where you're coming from but i think it was also pretty decent well, that wasn't, this wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't awful either. I didn't expect Supernatural to have this last episode in pedo, not shitty, uh, nice. But what was that awful pop song at the end? Yeah, it was, I did not enjoy that song. Man, really just going to rush through Sam's life like that? Like, it didn't matter. Sure, I guess. Also, Empty just gave up. She got her angel and was happy. So what happened to the death girl she had her whole side plot line about sam dragging her from death and she didn't sam didn't marry her did sam really have make a son a hunter that's weird considering things and god that old makeup do i even have to say anything man endings are hard but they're kind of funny when the two chances to end the show a better way than that led to the same conclusion yeah we got glimpsed a version of both oh gosh please woof that was that was english hard I hated the final two episodes, to be honest. It should have ended with Swan Song. Seriously, Swan Song is the most fitting ending for the show. This finale felt like it was written by fanfic writers. It was truly bad. Yeah, you're not wrong. INDB says it all. Now this channel is going to die. I love this comment because this guy's true. I'm very much expecting a huge drop off of viewers and everything at once, uh, once I'm finished. The finale would have been perfect if only if the vampires weren't in the episode in any type of way. The Alpha was killed so many seasons ago in Supernatural lore. That means all vampires die. The only time we saw vamps after that was the messed up episodes of the la of season of Supernatural when Sam and Dean visited Apocalypse World, but that's where the Alpha was still alive. And once again, Supernatural fans can find more about the lore of a show than the uh, writers who are actually writing the show themselves. 3 out of 10, there were some great ideas, but it was kind of rushed, and a lot of the things are just stupid. It didn't... I'm not upset that Dean dies, okay? It has to happen someday, but how? Seriously, these guys are super elite hunters since they were kids, but now, after defeating God, they suddenly forgot to use the weapons that were in the car's trunk. Five minutes earlier, they were using guns to kill vampires, but they go in, But when they go into a nest, wouldn't there be, like, five times more vampires and they just go in with a machete? Really? I mean, really? That is a good point. This episode was just rushed and they wanted to end the series somehow. Oh, and that random girl from season one. I have no freaking idea who she was. They wanted to bring her back, but not Jeffrey D. Morgan, who oh, uh, who wanted to see the boy's father, right? He wasn't important. Or Castiel. Who is Castiel? Not an important character. Nobody cares about him or the boy's mother. Oh, God. The more I write about it, the more the rating gets a little worse. <laughs> now, again, like I understand why they couldn't bring those actors back again because of COVID and everything. I'm so glad it's over. I didn't cry because the boo-hoo talk uh, had been done so many times. It just didn't move me at all. The Winchest lean was horrendous as well. Basically, all Dean was good to for, stripped down to all the season, was a half-ship Destiel and for 100% Winchest story. I had been stripped of all things Dean. Uh, the only good th thing, once again, was Dean in Miracle. 
of the dog. Shame on Jensen for letting Dab strip his character to a seamless thing, uh, love object for the sake of a minor LGBT rep. Dean died 20 minutes into the show. This was the first, there was another 10 minutes or so of dialogue and just after just Sam moping around. And once Dab gave something that belonged to Dean to Sam as a final slap in the face to Dean's fans, I, he gave Miracle to Sam. The episode should have been written, feels like it could have been written by a 10 year old. Don't get me wrong, J2 did a great job acting and it didn't move me because they weren't the boys I fell in love with season one. These were the sh- shallow shells of men who had been torn down to feminist feminine? It's gross, and I just hope that Jensen doesn't al- let anybody define his characters in the future for him liking it, and let and he let Misha Collins define Dean. Shame, just shame. Owen oh, and nailed down the world best hunter. Okay, I don't know. I didn't feel that at the end. Like, yeah, the Death Deal thing was bait, but I don't know. I the the show needed to end. I uh, I don't know. It, yeah, there's a bit of anger here in this one, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's yeah. It was their choice. Yeah, well, it wasn't their choice, but the show needed to end, so they made up an ending for him. This is what happens when you drag out a show too long. They said in an interview that they had to change a lot of things at the series finale due to coronavirus because they weren't able to get every character they wanted on the last episode. But I love this episode and for how they try to wrap things up in a wholesome way. Dean dying naturally when his whole life had revolved around supernatural things and Sam finally getting to live the life he always wanted with a family and a kid growing old. Dean would never survive the life without Sam. And if it was the other way around, Sam could. And that's why it made sense in the ending. Yeah, I, I guess. I, I know. I understand that. And this is kind of trying to do a retrospective of Swan Song but reverse. I surprisingly liked this episode. There was more than there was ways to improve. Most definitely when they dusted Chuck, they just became regular guys. It makes sense. And Jack is hands off. It's a good ending. Although the wig could have been better, even though I thought this episode was fine. The final part with carry on my song had me crying. Like I didn't even notice it at first. And I think it was the combo of the show ending and the scene itself. Let's all just take a moment and realize that none of this would have happened if Lucifer didn't knock up that one lady. So the real hero is Lucifer. Oh my god, that's not that's not untrue. <laughs> Dean's death was so random, throwaway and cheap. I was just waiting for the magic twist and all is well. Thinking that I couldn't have taken the scene seriously. They played it really well, but I had no emotional investment at all because I just expected he he'd be fine and didn't matter. Some some say in real life heroes don't always like heroic deaths. Yet it but yeah, but in fiction world they do. Fiction is high is heightened reality and the public demand the big payoff. Certainly I'm not a cheap rusty nail. I can see why Jensen was blah about the ending when he first got the the outline. How come Sam never lost a hair on his head when he aged? He looks like he dies aged 45 tops and when uh, why why are all the Can- characters in a canadian forest uh, uh, some surely some sort of imagination in the supernatural universe uh, don't you know everyone loves to shoot up here in in uh, uh, bc's forests why are all the characters uh, at least monica didn't show up by touched on an angel escort to dean at the pearly gates just accept that episode 19 was the real last episode i don't like your opinion though all right I like how Dean dies. He always knows when he's going to die hunting. Dialogue had good moments, but it felt like it could have conveyed, like, this is how he should go. This is how he wants to go. I think the point that this random chick from season one just happened to ambush Dean really as a continuity and the idea that fate even got without God. I don't think it was great, done great. I think Dean's death was really PG. Makeup was rough. Aging stuff was real bad. Felt incredibly rushed. A couple of loose ends. Disappointed. We don't see Eileen. Would have liked to see some more characters from the past. For instance, I bet COVID didn't screw if COVID didn't screw everything up. I bet there would have been a bunch of friendly faces in that bar. I think that the worst part, though, is that it felt rushed. I'm sure the episode really suffered from COVID restrictions, though. And while the story suffers a little from the weakish ending, the characters don't suffer, and that in that they change to force an ending in like in something like Game of Thrones at the ending and doesn't sour the journey. Those characters have been in our lives so long, man. Seems like they never leave. I I admit that that was a feeling I had for a long time. Another lackluster episode until after Dean dies, but everything leading up to that was forgettable. Even Dean's death was underwhelming for what they had been through, and Dean didn't show much emotion. It's just, oh yeah, he's dying again. My wife even made that comment. He's just like, man, for a guy who's dying, he seems pretty relaxed about it. Like, doesn't seem to hurt him at all. (laughs) They should have ended the episode with episode 19. At least it was well-written and much better acting than Dean's death in this episode tonight because i gotta say why is dean still talking well he's dying he talked for like almost five ten minutes with horrible acting my god 
only Jared did a good job. See? I give the episode a 6 out of 11. I gotta say I'm disappointed with the season, but not even ending didn't real uh, didn't really feel satisfying because of how horrible the season was. But the finale and one before it was okayish. I feel like they could have used that montage from episode 19 for this episode could have been better. Still didn't beat Swan Song. This episode could have been made better with more special effects, more emotion, more CGI. At least bring a few living characters back. While like I don't I would have like I would have as well liked to see Sam with the death with Eileen. Oh yeah, fun fact, Dab is creating a live action series for No. Oh, I've got to look this up. There's no way. No, why would they give him that? Why? 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 They could have made a Photoshop picture of Sam and Eileen and the kid in the picture frame on the wall. Literally the easiest and cheapest way to give the fans closure of Sam and Eileen. Dean died so terribly. Yes, dying from internal bleeding and organ puncture is the most painful death you can imagine. He deserved better. They didn't have to show Sam growing old and dying to prove he had moved on. They should have shown him with little Dean and blurry wife. And Cash should have been there to meet with Dean on the bridge. Dean wasn't even trying to find a way to say to tell Cass thank you for his sacrifice once Bobby told him Cass was in heaven. A good point. And Jack was is a little shit for pulling Cass DL out of the empty and not telling Dean that Cass was okay. I am torn and broken hearted from this. I'm glad that heaven was a safe place for them in the end, but I wanted better for Dean. I hated it. Bugs was better. There was no plot. Nothing made much sense. It was boring, then sad, then boring again. And it almost ignored everything that came before it. I was hoping to get one more hour from a great show. They've done so many great shows. They had chops, so I feel like this is... Uh, they dropped the ball in the middle of the road. Blah story. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, this is the last one. I opened up this one purely for this conversation. Dude, are you even a fan? I love that. Just love hearing that. This is the third time what this is my third time watching and you're just negative as hell. I get you're maybe a film school or some kid or something, but you're on YouTube and Jensen is a famous actor. I get it. I'm a writer, but this show did amazing to last this long. Yes, it did amazing to last this long. Was it good all the way? No. What? The YouTuber like okay, this is why I'm continuing it. The YouTuber has an approach like someone who went to film school or performing arts like I did. I did not. And you will know that most people in the film industry did not go to any form of school at all. A lot of them did not. I'm a great. Uh, he critiques like a professional, uh, not like a fan. He is the one of the most negative commentators on the show, and I like a lot of supernatural shows. Way Wade Winchester is better than a true fan. He's not a true fan. He's a fucking suck up, and somehow he has never gotten shit for literally revealing episodes. No one calls him on clickbait, yet he literally has Dean dying in the title of one of his videos. And yet, when I put up a po- a photo of Dean as, um the what as michael from season 14 or 13's ending everyone's like oh blah blah blah." i was like my god this guy's like literally giving away the endings in his title he's not a true fan he just sucks off of it maybe he is a fan no no wait that's no i'm not gonna say that no he's a fan in his own way but he has leached off of supernatural in a way that i don't know how his channel has not been removed off of youtube if i tried that shit i know i would get blocked with COVID restrictions, the show did amazing, and it was one of the, a realistic episode. We needed real, we needed to grieve, and we needed hope during these times. This may be more of your simple what meant, but here's my explanation. Have a great day. Call him a negative reviewer downer, but he states facts, and he also appreciates. If you also and please actually watch the videos. Literally, COVID only affected two episodes. This one and the last one. Call yourself a writer all you want, but if you can't critique this show, then I don't know how. He stopped being a fan of the show a long time. And other and every other channel on Supernatural just craves fans. He critiques the show in a fair way that you call negative. He knows that people behind the scenes who work there, and he knows how hard they work. Yet, yeah, he's negative. And then the last one here, he's a fan like all of us. He's allowed to have his own opinion. I loved every episode of the season. I don't expect anyone to feel the same as I do. And that's it. That is the last time I'll do this for this season. <sighs> Thanks, guys. I just sat here for two, almost two hours reading these. But no, it was really great to see your guys' opinions and thoughts and whatnot on this uh, show. And it's cool to see so many people have so many different opinions, so many different outlooks on how this went. And while, yeah, we didn't get entirely everything that we wanted, um, I'm, I've been real, real blessed to have you guys comment and watch my videos as long as you have. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. It's been amazing to see the outpour. But now it's time for me to have a rest. 
And don't worry, season 15 review is coming soon. So make sure you guys, uh, I did a poll on my community page, so make sure to check that out. Also, I want to do, I want to involve you guys in the top five best and worst episodes of this season, but I don't know how to do a poll that has more than five options. So if you guys know of a website that can do polls that I can direct you guys to, let me know and I'll make sure to do something like that when I do my season 15 review. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it's over. But we have so much more to go. We're going back to season four, remember, baby? Yeah. All right. See you guys next time.